there are certain Pokemon who only evolve once, or don't evolve at all. So let's give them new evolutions. Pokemon Evolution, a mechanic that is probably the biggest facet of the franchise. Throughout the different generations, there have been Pokemon who only evolve once, or never receive an evolution at all. In the past, Game Freak has remedied this by giving old Pokemon new evolutions, through a bunch of different methods, such as new trade evolutions using new trade items, new evolutionary stones, having Pokemon level up knowing a certain move, and one of my personal favorites we were introduced to in Galar, gaining a new evolution thanks to a regional form. In my Fakemon region, Cornera, we have already explored a ton of new evolutions to old Pokemon due to the gimmick of the region, Nucleotypes. But there are more evolutions to old Pokemon in the Cornera region that don't come from Nucleotypes that I would like to explore with you today. But before we do that, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to keep up to date with everything happening on the channel. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to Jobless Music. They have been composing some epic music for the Cornera region that you will start hearing in these videos, so make sure to check out Jobless's YouTube channel. They are absolutely killing these tracks and I'm super happy with them. Also, also, I don't plug this nearly as much as I probably should, but make sure to check out the official Instagram account of the Cornero region, at Magic Dex. There you can see stats, abilities, dex entries, and the shinies, which I know a lot of you have been asking for. I also do a Q&A every Tuesday if you have questions about the Cornera region. So, a while back I introduced a Pokemon called Palidal. And in that video, I said it had a special relationship with a certain Pokemon. Well, as I'm sure you've guessed, that Pokemon is Smeargle! If you level up Smeargle to level 35 with a Palidal in your party, it evolves into... Striegel. Striegel is based on Renaissance painters and Renaissance clothing. It has an eye for more complex and refined painting techniques than Smeargle, and is rarely seen not painting. It is always working on its next big creation. Its name comes from Streak, Strie, a painting technique, and Beagle. So, a lot of people were wondering after I released my Evolutions of Every Type video, if there would be a sound type evolution in Cornera. Well, I'm happy to report there is one! When Eevee is leveled up near the Corneran city of Altopolis, it evolves into... Symphion. Symphion can create vibrations with its tail that become enchanting music. Speaking of music, this mon has tons of musical inspiration in its design, such as string instruments, a treble clef, a music staff, and even orchestra conductor and musician attire. I really felt that incorporating music into an evolution would be a super cool idea, and it turned out I was right. And for those wondering why I didn't include Symphion in my evolutions of every type video, I wanted to stick to the official types rather than adding a fan type. As well as, I wanted to introduce Symphion in the Cornera series of videos rather than insert it into a completely different series. So, two Pokemon that I feel got the short end of the stick evolution-wise were Sock and Throw. I mean, their counterpart the Hitmons got a new pre-evolution and became an evolutionary trio in the generation after their debut, so I figured why not give Sock and Throw the same treatment. Meet Chop. Chop is obviously the equivalent to Tyrogue, and Chop is based on mixed martial arts, or MMA for short, a massively expanding sport around the world, but in the US in particular due to the existence of the UFC. Instead of evolving at level 20 based on its stats like Tyrogue, Chop determines what it will evolve into based on what kind of belt it is holding. When leveled up to level 20, if it is holding a black belt, it will evolve into a sock, if it is holding a power belt, it will evolve into a throw, and if it is holding an expert belt, it will evolve into... Kick. Kick is based on White Oni, as well as another very widespread martial art, kickboxing. I really wanted Kick to feel like a perfect middle ground between Sock and Throw. Sock is on the skinnier side and is the karate Pokemon, and Throw is on the heftier side and is the judo Pokemon. So, Kick is more on the muscular side and is the kickbox Pokemon. All three are based on forms of martial arts that started in Japan and became popular worldwide. 
and the love for this trio doesn't stop there, but I will save that for a future video. As I said at the start of the video, regional evolution was introduced in Galar, and I just love that concept. As you can clearly tell by the many regional evolutions I have made. But there are a couple more regional evolutions I wanted to share in this video. After that, there are only two more regional evolutions, but they are planned for a separate video. But after that, that's it, I swear. So, for this first one, I have to introduce Corneran Murkrow. It is now Grass Flying type. And it is based on Hay, Farmers, and Barn Swallows. These Murkrow have adapted to farm life in Cornera, and are known to play in the hay bales the farmers make, and even preen them to make them look nice and neat. But when introduced to a leaf stone, Corneran Murkrow evolves into... Ranch Crow. Come on, the, the pun was too perfect. Known as the farmhand Pokemon, Ranch Crow will scare away other bird Pokemon that would do harm to the farmer's crops. Ranch Crow is based on farmers, hay, barn swallows, and also scarecrows. It's a crow based on a scarecrow that scares crows. How great is that? Last but certainly not least, we have another regional evolution. This one is a bit different, as it doesn't come from a regional form like other regional evolutions. It's a new and very rare evolution to Primeape, discovered to be exclusive to the Cornera region. When leveled up to level 40 while on routes 15 to 17, Primeape evolves into... Sasquake. It is now a fighting ground type. And yes, I realize I have like three fighting and ground type Pokemon when there were none before, but... Whoever said I was good with planning. Also, there were like two Fire Monkey lines in Gen 5, when they just introduced a Fire Monkey line in Gen 4, so... I rest my case. Anyway, Sasquake is obviously based on the legend of the Sasquatch, or Bigfoot. But it is also based on Silverback Gorillas. Why didn't you include this in the Cryptid Pokemon video, Brandon? Because there was already a Sasquatch and Yeti-inspired Mon in that video, and there was already a lot of fake mon in that video, dear commenter. Sasquake is rarely seen in the wild, and were believed to be extinct until our recent resurgence in the population. But that's it for today. Make sure to let me know which mon was your favorite. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And with that, I will see you guys next time.